Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of uh, Minecraft Feed the Beast Monster. Um, now, it has been a while. It has been it has been quite a while since uh, since we last had one of these. Um, I had an episode recorded uh, previously, which set up this whole guy, this this blood magic altar setup thing. But I didn't like when I went over and edited it. I didn't really like it. It was like pretty bad quality. I wasn't feeling very good when I recorded it and that sound kind of reflected into the into the video. So I scrapped that one. Um, and we are going to start over not with Blood Magic but with something else. So that's just the update on why uh, there wasn't anything. Theme Deck Duels also came out so hopefully you guys got a chance to, to uh, brush that over. That's back now so that's kind of cool. Um, but we are going to do, what we are going to do today, excuse me, is uh, we're going to redo our um, big reactor setup. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's like it's going to be a project uh, for sure. I have already gone and dug out this cool little area. I still have to make a little path to it, but I made sort of like a kind of bunker type thing, and I still made some elevators to get down here as well. But uh, it digs straight down into here where our react. Oh, excuse me, burping over here. Uh, where our reactor is going to be. Um, so I don't know. I think I'm, I'm pretty pretty happy with the way that came out, but now at least this time I get to show you guys um, exactly how the reactor setup works, which I sort of glossed over uh, in the second episode, I think, but it wasn't really too in-depth, so um, I'm sort of excited at that. <clears throat> Let me push this wall back one, and then we can go, we can set up this base of this reactor, and uh, then get the other actual components uh, out of the old one, because it's a little bit of a predicament, because Obviously, my ME system is being powered by that reactor, like solely that reactor. Um, so it's sort of a little bit of an issue if that reactor goes down, but it shouldn't be shouldn't be too bad. We should be okay. Um, so anyway, like I said, all right, how do I want to do this? I want to. Does this have a definitive middle? It does not, of course. Okay, so this is going to be offset. Great. Um, actually. Yeah, I'm just going to push this out one, just so the reactor's not offset by one. Because <clears throat> that's going to drive me insane if it is, if it's not symmetrical. Um, and I know I'm mining dirt with a, with a pickaxe, I don't really care, it's fast enough anyway. Especially for minor work like this. So let's get this all taken out of here. Okay, now we have a definitive middle which will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5. That'll be that fifth one right there. So that is our middle, and we are going to probably want it like that. Okay, so that's the middle core, that's the next core, that's this core, that's this core. Nope. Um, so anyway, like I said in the previous episode, the base of the reactor has to be made out of reactor glass, or not reactor glass, reactor casing. So basically the whole frame has to be made out of uh, uh, reactor casing. So the way I want to do this is I want two spaces on each, on any given side for this thing. Uh, and that's not going to work here. This wall needs to go back even one further. Ugh. Oh, perfect. You know what? This might actually work out perfectly. Because that's the wall, as you can see, for my... Uh, for my basement, underneath the thingy thing, the uh, the old power thingy thing. Um, so one might not. I was getting worried I might have to like set up a tesseract and everything to get the power to run through correctly, but I might not. I might be able to just loop some uh, redstone energy conduit around, which would be great. Um, anyway, back to this. Man, this thing's gonna be huge. It's probably going to guzzle. Uh, what you call it? Um, Yellorium. Right, is that right? One, two, one. Oh, these sides are way too big. Okay, so I need one space. Yeah, alright, that's right. Cool, cool, cool. This is not. And. Like. So, okay. So, your whole floor has to be made out of reactor casing, which I showed the recipes for that. It's just four iron, uh, four graphite, and one eulorium, uranium, whatever. 
type of uh, ingot you choose to use. Um, and it's just with the yellowium in the center, the graphite in a cross pattern, and the iron. Actually, it would probably be easier to show it, but anyway. Reactor casing. Um, let's see, now I'm definitely going to need these control these. The way I want this set up is I want to have five fuel rods in here with three each. Yep, just like that. Okay. Two, three, reactor casing. One, two, three, and your reactor has to have fuel rods in order for it to work. Um, in order for it to accept fuel or output any kind of power or anything like that. Um, so it has to ha it has to be like that. Now I have... Oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm going to take a drink of this water over here real fast. Um, I have another fuel rod. And I have another um, reactor control rod over on the other reactor. I just don't want to take that down just yet because it's powering my ME system. Um, all right. Are we almost... Oh, we might not make it on the reactor casing. Um, anyway, your frame has to be made out of reactor casing. Um, so we're going to do that real quick. And... Ah... If I could place my reactor casing correctly, that'd be fantastic. Frame. Frame two. Frame three and frame four. Uh, the top also needs to be made out of a reactor casing. Um, and I was sort of debating about setting this up, but I guess I will because. Uh, because why the hell not? Now, this piece right there is going to have to be... Right? Is that right? That is correct. Alright, so I am out of reactor casing, but that is okay, because I have plenty over at the this other reactor. Now, I do... Alright, you know what? I do have a redstone energy cell, so I might... You know what? I'm just going to tear this thing down. I don't care. If I can manage to even get past this monster, this Frankenstein monster of a uh, of a um, a thing. All right, now this is going to be super risky. Um, okay, start start taking stuff down, I guess. It's going to be because now it's no longer outputting power, so Emmy is drawing very quickly. I really hope that doesn't, <clears throat> excuse me, doesn't destroy items. And I don't necessarily care too much about the, the liquid redstone. Because, um, I mean, I have plenty of, of redstone, so that's not really, it's not really a problem for me. Um, but I, we are going to use a different coolant system inside of this thing. It is not going to be redstone. I didn't know I had, oh wow, I had way more of these fuel rods than I thought I did. Huh. Weird. Uh, this is also going to open up a lot more space inside this uh, this weird little basement here, so I might be able to organize this stuff a lot better, which would be fantastic. <clears throat> um, we also need this access port. We also need that. We need the power tap. And we need the controller. And this should be enough. Oh, and I definitely need that sign. I got something super special planned for that sign. Um, I think this will be enough. We are about to find out. So we need that and that. This will cap that guy off and we'll put, nope, put these guys like so. Um, to... They have like their own GUI, so like you can name the control rods and stuff like that. And I always hit it like accidentally, and it's kind of frustrating. We have, oh, see, and we have that one there. Okay, so we have our five control rods, and we need our reactor casing. Now the walls you can either build out of reactor casing or out of um, reactor glass. That part doesn't necessarily matter. I don't think it has an actual tangible benefit to it uh, besides being able to see through reactor glass and not being able to see through um, 
reactor casing. So, yeah. Um, but the there are five absolutely necessary blocks that you need outside of reactor casing, the fuel rods, fuel caps, reactor glass. Um, you'll need one, the reactor controller, which functions as the um, like the the central GUI for the um, for the reactor. You need an access port, two of them, and one of them needs to be set to uh, eject waste, which will turn it uh, blue. That's actually outlet mode and eject waste. Um, and one needs to be set to input waste. And then you also need a reactor power tap, which was used to uh, get power out of said reactor. But let me just, and I'm probably going to have to go steal some more reactor stuff and things and stuffy stuff off of the other one. Oh, maybe not. We might actually make it. And are we going to make it? And we are going to make it. Cool. Um, so this thing can be any size, these reactors. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be one way or the other. Um, wow. Wow. It took 60 to fuel all of those. So that's 60 divided by 5 is what, 12? 12 for each each thing? Okay. Um, that's interesting. Yeah. Come on. All right. Um, temporarily, I am going to use that redstone. So I am going to get some buckets of redstone. Uh, ME system, this guy is holding up okay, surprisingly. Okay, so we got, oh, you know what? It's being powered, isn't it? It is being powered by this one, which is rapidly falling. Okay, and I have a backup just in case. Um, but we are going to need to get rid of this stuff. We need that. We need some buckets. So we're going to need... I don't know. I'm just going to make a ton of buckets. Oh, don't tell me you're not going to make buckets now. Why are you not making buckets? Make the buckets. You know what? Fine, ME system. If you're going to be like that, I'll just make 32 buckets myself. Alright. Oh, you know what? I just remembered our entire base is running off of this system. Right. This may not have been so wise. Okay, that is still okay. There's not redstone in there, so I need to get some redstone. Oh, okay. Let me get this red stuff red 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 stuff? Redstone stuff sorted out so I can uh get this reactor going so I don't have to worry about this stuff anymore. So and I'll be back. right back. Um, Alright, so I had to use redstone uh, initially just to cool these guys off, but I'm just uh, putting the cap back on again. I raised this up by two because I realized I was going to have to get up here to adjust the uh, sizes of these things and whatnot, um, so I had to do that. But we get to now name these reactors, so I don't know, we'll call this one Lady Mc. Bath, and we will set it to go to, for now, I'm going to set them all at 90. Uh, we'll have this one be, uh, oh god, I have no idea, uh, uh, Jacko? Because why not? Um, get this guy off to 90 again. The center one, it has his custom, has to be Rodimus Prime, because Transformers. Um, we will have this one, I don't know, be Hot Rod. Man, naming, naming reactor fuel rods is one of the things you never, never knew you'd do. Um, oh god, what do we call this one? This is the tough one. Um, hmm. Hmm. Uh, we will call this, just call this one... Seto Kaiba, because why not? Um, we are a Yu-Gi-Oh! based channel, after all. Um, Alright, so I wanna... I really wanna turn this thing on. Um, let's take... Oh, boy. This is a mess. This needs to get cleaned up, like, yesterday. Uh, we have... No, not torches. We need that. 
Crescent Hammer, take this Tesseract right here. Um, set this guy right there and set it to send energy, okay? And we have yet to turn this guy on, we have yet to hook it up to the ME system, but for now, let's just turn it on and see how much this thing produces. So before, remember, you want to remember we were at 1800 redstone flux per tick, um, which was mediocre, uh, to say the least. So with five reactors running at 10% of their capacity, I'm curious to see how high we can get. Um, I do need to take some ME cable and get these guys set up, like, ASAP on the, uh on the fuel and stuff. Uh, okay, so that's just barely running out. Um, oh, come on, where were they? Here they are. We have our basic import and we have our basic export, right? Did I get them both? They're both gone. There's one and there is the other. Um, we're also going to need a metric dong load of ME cable. That should be okay. And a little bit more. Oh, God, we don't have a lot. Oh, this might not work. Crap. Oh, I also need a and single yellow orium ingot. So now we're really like, we are, uh, we're really... It's crunch time right now with the power running on this thing and power running out on the ME system. Like this is, this is like some final countdown stuff. Um, all right, so that's full. This thing is producing 950 redstone flux with five reactors running at 10%. Um, that is crap. We are definitely going to have to dial that up. But temporarily, um, what is this? The import bus I have. Yeah, import goes there. Export will go here, and it will be set to export Eolorium. Um, and let's, oh god, let's hope this is enough. Two, three. Oh, uh, we might barely make it. We might barely make it. Oh, we're one short. Oh, that's horrible. That is terrible. Like, for real. Um, oh, you know what? Maybe we're not. If I could just get up this elevator and stop jumbling around everywhere. ME cable. You know, I know it won't create. Yes. Yes. Green cable. We need that. We need that. We need to store that. We need it. And we'll need that sign. So I think we actually just made it. But I'm not entirely positive. We'll have to find out in a second. And yes, so it is connected. It is officially connected. Um, oh, sweet. Uh, I do also need some redstone energy conduit. Because I'm going to have to run power, at least temporarily, until I can get this whole uh, wonderful horrible mess sorted out. I'm going to need a little bit of energy conduit just to run over here to power um, everything else down here. Um, and let me take, of course I put that away. Crescent hammer, please. Take this tesseract down. You'll set it just like so. So now those down there are powered and I'll have the tesseract up here also being powered like so. Okay, so we're only putting out 949 redstone flux. That, that's terrible. Let's dial Rodimus Prime here all the way up. So he's running at full power. Oh, okay, so we're already significantly over that, fluctuating between 4 and 5, or 24 and 2500 redstone flux per tick. Um, still not a lot. I am a fan of Lady Macbeth, so let's get this one down to 70% its capacity. And we are already putting out, uh, the goal here is probably around 4,000 redstone flux per tick. And how much fuel does that use? Uh, apparently a fluctuating amount of either 0.013 or 0.09, which is interesting, I guess. Um, hmm. Let's set Lady Macbeth to 90%. That should put us over, oh yeah. That's going to put us consistently over 4,000. Okay, cool. So that's that. But of course, 
Uh, this is all subject, like, ignore the wiring right now and all that. It's all going to change. Um, it's definitely going to get fixed. This, oh, this wonderful, horrible mess is definitely going to get fixed. Uh, probably going to do that off camera because that's such tedium, and then I'll end up taking this down. But, um, of course, there is one perfect way to test how well uh, these things are working. Is autarkic gates. Um chipset. We need a pulsating chipset. I believe we need an iron chipset. And we're going to see just how well these things work, and then we'll end off by naming our reactor, as is customary on these shows. Um, and I haven't really been getting too many frame drops recently. Where is my... Oh, no wonder I'm losing food. My thing is in my backpack. There we go. Back up to saturation 4. Um, the ultimate test of the power of this thing is to make some autarkic gates. And how quickly does it make them? That's very fast. And do these things ever lose power? So we have... Uh, it doesn't look like we have too many left, but we'll set uh, these things to start making. I will make redstone iron. Actually, pulsating will take the longest, so let's see how long those take. And I'm really just looking to see if these things lose power ever if they go down to green, or if they go down to yellow, or worse, even red. Because before, if you guys remember when I had something set up here, it was flashing red, which means it wasn't getting enough power. And it looks like so far we're good. So I I think we've we've done a good thing in making this new reactor. But, um, hmm. Still 4,000 seems a little on the low side. I still do have to make a path coming over to our little reactor bunker over here, but I'll do that. Um... What do you guys think? Should we... So we just go YOLO mode? Full 100% on three of these things. Jocko, Rodimus Prime, and Lady Macbeth. They're, uh, they're, they're going. And that looks like it's putting us at the high end of 5,700 on average. Um, really not as much power as I would have liked to uh, be using or really not as much as I would like to have output, but that's okay. Uh, next episode, we will knock out this uh, redstone stuff, and we will get some better coolant in there, so that's definitely going to help the thing cool down and help it put out more power, so that's good. But lastly, we need to name this guy, and last one was Baby's First Reactor. This has significantly grown up from Baby's First Reactor, so we're with the redstone. I'm thinking we go ahead and name this guy Red Eyes Black... Uh, I would get that properly centered. Red eyes, black reactor. All right, and I am okay with that. So we have red eyes, black reactor. It's all rehooked up to Emmy. Our power is good and good and set. Like I said, I'll clean this area up uh, to get it looking a little bit better. But uh, that is about all I have for you guys today. So um, yeah. Um, Theme Deck Duels, I said in the beginning of the episode, did come back, so make sure you guys check on check out that video. We'll have a new one up tomorrow as well. There'll be a Monday slash Friday type of thing. Um, but as far as FTB, this is all I have. Next episode, we'll get that, that coolant all set up. But um, if you did enjoy the video, please do leave a like. It helps me out quite a bit. Um, favorite and share, as you guys do on the YouTubes. Uh, subscribe, so you know when all these videos come out. You know when Theme Deck Duels comes out. And, um... That's about it. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you later.